All right, so I had this piece of scrap wire sitting around. Figured that'd be perfect for what we're doing here. Instead of throwing it away, I have no idea where this came from. I think I chopped it out of a furnace. It was just sitting in the bottom of it. I figured it was just way too long and not needed. Like even here, it's way too long. And I'm just gonna take two wires. We gotta run them pretty much R and C. Okay. So the wire. So to pull it through, I'm gonna have to straighten it. I'm gonna cut the end off. And get all the bends and kinks. Uh, so I think it's gonna be hard too. Actually, looks like it's even twisted there. But let's see if I could just pull the red strands right out. We're gonna twist right here. So we're gonna grab the red wire and pull. We got it. So there's the red. We're gonna do the same with the white wire. For most of us, red and white is power. Hot and common. Gotta put the wire out of the way. Now, I'm gonna bring my power. I'll make white common, which will be the second one on the side. So, be, this one will be common. I'm curious to see how this turns out because I've always wanted to do a repair on a board. And well, now's my chance. I mean, I could tuck it through here, but I want the ability. I know everybody's like, oh, it doesn't look good. But I want the ability to pick the board up and, a, and a flip it. And what good is it to me if I can't do that? So I'm going to leave myself slack. I know. It doesn't look good. Completely understand. I got all the people that have, oh... OCD, freaking out right now. But let's be real. If I don't do this, how do I pick the board up? How do I test the bottom when it's hot? Which I will be doing. It's only 24 volts. But I'm gonna shut it off, pick it up, so I don't want to spark stuff out. Get the R in. As far as my jumpers, I'm gonna make. They don't have to be friggin' an extra foot and a half long, but these two wires do. doesn't matter on this transformer if blue or yellow is the hot wire it doesn't matter because one if, if one side's grounded that's the only way polarity matters on this both legs of the power of the transformer are going to be about 12 to 13 volts so it makes no difference i probably should cut that bare copper off right there because right on the 24 volt red wire right here is a little shining bare copper so let me pull that cut that i don't need to create any sparks This board did not have an outdoor sensor, it did not have a discharge air sensor. It did not have any of those things. Okay, I didn't lose any of my wires for RRC. Now let's just, I forgot to read it before I ripped it. Remove RC, RH jumper when using dual transformer systems. That's so true for this, or even just standard thermostats. You don't want to have two different transformers colliding power. So remove transformer for a dual. I don't have dual. I have a single. Interesting that I have that there. But this has been working for all this time, so I'm not going to reinvent the wheel over on this job site. So for now, I'm just going to turn it on and see. I doubt any of these lights will come on on this board. But let's just see what happens. Let's see if we blow some sparks or if this gets energized. So we just powered it up. And let's get a meter out because I got lights. So these lights here, they are on. It's hard to see. Let me eliminate some of the light from the space and see if we can see the lights better. I don't know if you guys can see it, but 
So since I now have it set up as a single transformer system, even though it was the whole time, let's see what we get here. And as I watched the last video, the blue actually makes it harder to see my meter. So RNC is going to read 24, 25. Now we have nothing over here, but R and C. I'm going to have to get new, new power there. Now, zero, zero. Got power there. This is power for, this is my open and close. So right now my damper is wanting to be open. This damper is wanting to be open. Stampers energized to be open. This damper's energized to be open. So right now all my dampers are energized to be open. Now let's make the next jumper. Which this one's getting shopped up in a few. Because we don't need a hundred jumpers. This one wire will end up making every jumper that I want now. Oh, I forgot to check one place. So on the board we have over here R H. Now my common is right here. I got zero. Still got zero. Alright, so I'm not sending power up from here it looks like because this is my common. And I'm gonna have to definitely get I screw onto that. I'll pull one out of one of the extra terminals. Let's make up a couple jumpers. That's more than enough. So, time to power off. Now the board's dead, so. Two jumpers. Three jumpers. We can turn three things on right now. So for now, we'll put this right on the side here. Let's just see. What's going to happen here? When we start activating the board. Because right now, everything's off on the board. So let's see what happens when we activate the board. So we're going to start... We don't need C for anything right now. I probably should have brought R all the way back to here instead of there. That might have been my mistake over here. Now, I will not need pretty much everything here. I don't need W3. No. So let's pull this one out. It's going to be hard to pull it out. R and Y. Y and G. Okay. Tighten. Tighten. This is the thermostat calling right now. I need to get something in there. I think I know where I have one. Alright, so I didn't find any. So let's just take this board of W3 auxiliary one, which I have zero use for. We don't do heat pumps here, so auxiliary heat isn't really needed. It doesn't want to come out. I remember I had the worst hand crimp doing this board. Come on out. I don't understand how they were flying out when I was on the job site. And now they don't want to come out because I want to steal them. And move them. Pretty much that's all I want to do. I just want to relocate them. And they're like, nah, dude, I don't think so. Man. I need something behind it. 
might be able to push it out. That might be my problem right now. I might need to get behind and lift it. I'm going to use gravity to help me. Right now we're in here. See, I never understood why things fall off when you don't want it to. And then when you want it to come out, it's like, nah, dude, I don't think so. I'm just going to stay here and I'm not going to come out for you. Let's try the opposite. Let's see. Am I getting any responses? Yep, I am. I'm getting a response, okay. So. This is what I'm screwing around with. I know I'm trying to fix it, but this, it's not like this thing's ever going to go back into service. So I'm going to come all the way down. And I'll bring it up. Almost hell no, we won't go. You know what? I'm not even gonna worry about it if it doesn't want to wrap up. There we go. All right, we only need one anyway. We just need to fill this back in so it locks. I should have just flipped it over and it would have fell out so much sooner. Said I was doing the riot act. Hell no, we won't go. And all I can picture is Bobcat from Police Academy picking up the microphone. And no, 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 it wasn't Bobcat. It was the little black girl who was so quiet and shy sounding. And all of a sudden she moved the whole friggin' crowd. Okay, so now for you guys to see better, I'm trying to get this so this way you can see, I can work, we all can get along. We don't hate each other because you're in my way and I'm in your way. So. Alright. Now, I've got Y1, G, and R jumped right here. Which means that up here, when I test Y1, R, and G, I should have... 24 volts at all of those terminals to my common over here. Now, remove jumper for a dual transformer. So that's the tricky thing, because it's not a dual, but it came from a system that had its own transformer. But this has been there for years, so I'm not trying to recreate anything here. So all my lights are on right there. My call has not has not been stated yet that I need cool because this green light here comes on when I need cool. So the first thing I'm going to just check because before I had zero. So I'm going to come between RC common. I got one. I got one. R H in common I have one this is Y1 the fourth one up in R zero zero okay, G there should be nothing yet but what I should have is between R and C it's actually voltage but I still don't have a call. It's probably got a time delay, so bypass purge mode.
Actually, I think it's the other one I gotta push. This is purge mode. But... Now this has been removed for a door. So this also, I believe, is the jumper that I need. So now I can get power here. One. So system type, we're set for, everything is on except for one, actually these are in the middle. I'll come back to this. This table too, these are just timers. So I'll hold this for 10 seconds. nothing emergency heat is off occupied is on so from here I'm not getting up but over here can't jump these but there was nothing connected there's no outdoor sensor no indoor sensor by NRC nothing RH nothing so, I mean, I do have, it says to remove it for a dual transformer system. Right now, I got it connected with just a single transformer. And for whatever reason, it does not want to time out and come on. On the Linuxes, you hold it for like 10 seconds. But this is boot or purge override? Momentarily. Momentarily, so... We're not getting any thing up to there. And these jumpers have to be the same as that. What happens if I pull this off? Let's just see. Do I have 24 here? Nope. Yep. Yeah. So, other fin's gonna be this off without the jumper. But we're not getting through the jumper through this up over to here something here is being wacky okay let's just see the little screwdriver I mean I would think it would still go through the terminal even if it's not screwed in all the way let's just make sure oh we got the purge on now. I know. Oh no, it's purging. I'm wondering if it couldn't make a connection. But the strange thing is, it's if it's purging. Why would it? And here we should read from. Got power to Y, with power to G. Our thermostat's on. It should be because it's just a jumper, but I'm just starting there. RC to common. We're not getting our 24 volts through. Okay, so to RC to common, we're not completing our circuit. We're going to put this back on. Because that might be the jumper that's pulled to prevent this from coming up. But we're still not getting power. 
And now that the purge. Okay, discharge it. Heat. Hmm, interesting. We click the heat, but there's nothing here that should have activated heat. So, let's do this again. Heat and over. Okay, well, I'm my most confusion is, is if this at least ran, why am I not getting power through? Don't forget, G. G should be on, but it's not. This charge air sensor. I have about 14, 13. I can't jump the discharge air sensor, but I, I had to go back to the video. I don't think I pulled anything off. Let's just say I take this jumper off. Getting the same thing. Okay, R and R. I'm putting it into the lawn. Emergency heat on. I hold this in. Doesn't want to do anything. These switches are in the middle. So, okay. Dip switch. Right here. So, switch one. System type on is conventional, off is heat pump. So we need on. Switch to discharge low temp 40, 48. That shouldn't matter. Purge time. Smelling a little something going on here. I'll power off while I'm playing with the switches, but I'm getting a little bit of an electronic smell over here. Three is the purge time. Two minutes, 3.5 minutes. So, on for three. Four. Purge fan, HVAC. Something is putting off a little bit of a smell here. I'm not seeing any smoke rising. Something from the board. It's a little funky. So, dual fuel settings. settings high at all because I'm not doing anything with it. Okay. OB energized. Doesn't matter. Dual fuel disabled. Heat fan is HVAC. Other set of switches, S4, this is all second stage operation, third stage operation. Eight is unused, switch eight. They're not hot. Okay. I'm thinking I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm thinking yet. So I'm thinking that something is just a little wacky. Switch to discharge low limit. 
I'm just going to put it to there because it was kind of in the middle. Which might be telling the system, hey, something's not right. Let's just see if anything on the bottom. Got a little warm. Nothing yet seems to get warm. I mean, this one looks a little wacky. But this the, around thermostat one doesn't look too bad. Those are switches. I mean, thermostat one's here. That's a little. That's all darkened. I'm wondering if I moved it to thermostat two, to make thermostat two call, if I can get it to do anything. So let's just see now if we can get this to turn on. It's going to take three minutes for the purge. This is saying purge override. Bypass purge. Doesn't want to. Try it again. I don't think I gotta hold it long. The Lennox is like 10 seconds. This one might be a little longer, but I mean, this isn't tripped. Zero, because we got the circuit being completed. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. These are zero. I don't, I'm not quite caring about the zero, but I'm caring more about is that it's only one. To me, why am I not getting power? At least across. Is this thing screwed? Am I supposed to not have anything attached? Do they want the jumper not there? Without the jumper, I don't see how I'm completing my circuit. Oop, transformer off. I got some smokiness. I don't know if you can see that. I got a little bit of smokiness coming from my transformer. So, we got a little bit of smoking going on here. Something smoking. Interesting that my transformer is getting a little smoky. I, I released the dragon and let the factory smoke start to come out. But yet, why is this thing smoking? Surprised that I got a smoky transformer. It's smoking. That's the funky smell I was smelling. All right, you would have thought that if I have anything that like a short or whatnot, it would just pow, pop it and out. Nope, not here. I think this transformer took a couple hits, which is why I took it out of where it was. And check in here, make sure that's tight. There is no primary or secondary. Oh. Okay, actually this transformer does. The secondary is blue. So let me just change that before I fry something out here. That might be what I'm doing wrong. I might have gone backwards with my transformer. So now, that's an easy fix. I don't think that was what was keeping this off.
But let's see if even though I released the factory smoke out of the transformer, I may not have killed it. I just maybe angered the dragon just a little bit. Not enough that he's going full rage short because, well, he would pop, he would think he would pop this. I have no commons on the board, but obviously there's commons. How hot? Oh yeah, it's a little hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a five minute break. I'll be back. I'm going to allow that transformer to cool off and then see if that transformer can juice the board and if that's where I'm going wrong. All right, so I took a few minute break. Transformers are still a little warm, but it's not hot. It's not like before where I let the factory smoke out. The dragon tried to come out of the box. Let's see if that was why I couldn't get 24 volts up over here. Could have been. Man, I'm just completely completely experimenting right now so we got a single transformer unit oh well that's it for that transformer and that circuit so turn that off all right so our, this blew a spark over here our switch is now off. Almost looked like something arced right on the side. So tripping this transformer just popped. I switched the other end. This transformer is no good. My fault. And we're putting power out. Not even hot. But that was it. I'm just like pow. I want to just see in here before I disconnect everything. I mean, I know this transformer, it already had the factory smoke coming out. Would have been pretty cool if it stayed on. And that was my fault. It's all about experimentation. I'm not playing with drugs, so. Oh, yeah, this guy's hot. It's really, really hot. And I saw the spark pop out of here. So we definitely, well, we released the dragon with that spark. Now Sparky, full time. Spark, pal. Boom. Kaput. As far as the transformer goes, to get into it, to dissect, not really gonna happen. This thing is really friggin' hot though. I had it right the first time. <laughs> Whatever. I knew this transformer. I think it was having problems where it was at. I really don't remember why it got ripped out of the unit it was in. But it was good until right now. 
Alright, I get another transformer. I gotta look around, see if I got anything around here. I got a, I just need a 120 volt transformer, so I should have something around. If not, I'll buy one. Cause we gotta get power to here. Well, that ends this adventure.